So I'm Stephanie Page. I'm a professor of medicine in the Division of Endocrinology at the University of Washington School of Medicine. So this is an early phase study uh, in humans uh, lasting one month, which is to evaluate a prototype male con hormonal contraceptive or male pill. So 100 men were enrolled and 83 completed all the procedures. We, this study was actually designed to test a variety of different doses and formulations. So we tested five different types of pills in this particular study, three doses and two formulations. Despite the fact that the men had such low testosterone levels, they didn't have profound symptoms of low testosterone levels. Well, we're delighted, actually, that the men tolerated the medication so well and that the suppression of their endogenous hormones, their own production of testosterone, was so low that we are quite hopeful that this will be effective at suppressing the development of sperm. Larger trials of male hormonal contraception have been either with injections or implants. So what's really different here is that this is a pill. All the studies of oral testosterone delivery up until this study have necessitated twice or three times daily dosing. And with this particular steroid that we're testing, we learned that we only have to administer it once a day. Our next study will involve 100 men, 50 here and 50 at our partners in, in Los Angeles. And that study will be three months in duration. And the goal of that study is to demonstrate that these profound hormonal effects that we see actually result in the suppression of sperm production. I think men are ready for more contraceptive options. So the only reversible contraceptive that's available for men that's truly reversible is the condom. And we all know that condoms have a lot of important uses but are not the most effective contraceptives. There's more and more uh, demand, we think, uh, among single men for more contraceptive options as well. And so, and really a, an interest in sharing the burden of contraception amongst couples. So I think it's really important when we think about male contraception that this is not necessarily a replacement for female contraception. It's an added contraceptive to the menu of contraceptive options available for couples and for individuals. Uh, the things that we look are going to be looking for in our further studies are changes in uh, sexual desire or sexual activity, changes in mood, and changes in weight and other markers of metabolic health that would be important for people's long-term health.